Good morning, Pioneers. It's that time again when WPKN Live, live gives you the information from for the day from the Media Center. Today's Thursday, November 4, 2021. I'm Fernanda Rodriguez. Now let's all stand and join Nayeli Sanchez for the Pledge of Allegiance. Nayeli? Good morning, Pioneers. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. Now back to our anchor. Well done, Nayeli. Now let's join Colton Jackson, who's in the WPKN Weather Studio, for a check on the weather. Colton? Good morning, Pioneers. Today it will be partially cloudy with a 24% chance of rain. The wind will be blowing at the northeast at 6 miles per hour. The high today will be 80 with a low 60. Have a great day. Now back to our anchor. Thank you, Colton, for that informational weather update. For lunch today, our incredible Romeo chefs are preparing for us a choice of chicken sandwich or a wild butter sandwich with peas and fresh, and fresh fruit. Don't forget your choice of milk. Now here's Miss Parker Miss Williams with today's Pioneer Minutes. Good morning, Miss Parker and Miss Williams. Good morning, Miss Parker. <laughs> Good morning, boys and girls. It's a great, great day today. It is a thoughtful Thursday. We are going to start off by recognizing some awesomeness on our buses. Well, I'm also a thankful Thursday because I am thankful for the fabulous five that stayed on the board today. 3026, 3035, 3024, 3005, and 3037. And let me tell you, a special shout out to 3037 because guess what? They walk from the buses to the cafeteria, setting that example for everyone to see. They're being safe, they're being leaders, responsible and respectful. Good job, 3037, keep it up. And I am super excited and thankful that we have a lot of students on the set with us today that we are going to recognize for AR. I'm gonna let Miss Williams start it off. All right, first grade, we have, ready for this, Miss Minotti's class winning the golden book. Come on over, girls. We're going to stop and look at that camera. Hold it up. Wave, show that in the, there you go. It's look at on. that. Great job, Miss Minotti's class. Thank you, girls. All right, second grade, we have Miss Lazo Brady's classroom winning the golden book. Come on. There you go. Look at Miss Lazo's golden book. They get to keep it for the entire week. Good job, boys and girls. Keep it up. Here we go. Third grade. Miss Tripp's class earns the golden book this week. Reading the most, earning the most AR points. Congratulations. In fourth grade, we have Miss Chambers students. Come on over, girls. Miss Chambers girls winning the book. Haley, put those hands down. Be proud. Stand tall. Go. <laughs> Good job, sweetie. All right, go ahead and go. And fifth grade, Miss Johnson's class won the golden book. We don't have a student from them, so we will deliver that golden book. Actually, Miss Johnson's not here today, so maybe we could have a student come up tomorrow to oh. get the golden book. Okay, boys and girls, you be responsible and remind Miss Johnson of that tomorrow. Yeah, we'll recognize you then. All right, top students and the top students this week get a free meal at Texas Roadhouse and a cool pencil. So boys and girls, if your name is called, that's what you're getting today. Let's go first grade. Angel Marie Boyd. Come on, Angel. Up oh, first grade. Okay. Angel Marie Boyd was the winner in first grade for second grade. Thank you, Miss Lila Lonka. Come on over. I was a little confused when I looked over and saw Lila, but Red Maria, our, our angel. All right, Lila, way to that camera. Hey, what was your favorite story you read this week?
Fantastic. Good choice. Yay. Congratulations, Lila. Good yep. job, Lila. All right. In third grade, we have Joanna Trejo Munoz. Come Trejo. on over. Say Trejo. Trujillo. All right. Stop for a minute, sweet girl. Turn at the camera. Wave for us. And could you tell us your favorite book that you read? Um, Ginny B. Jones' Dumb Bunny. That's a good oh, one. that one made me laugh. I like that one as well. Boys and girls, if you're looking for a laugh, pick up a Junie B. Jones book. All right, fourth grade, Mr. Tyler Larrabee. Come on, Tyler. Great job, buddy. Tyler, turn around and face that camera. And Tyler, come over here real quick, buddy. Hey, tell me what your favorite book was. Probably literally any Jason Strange book. Yeah. Jason Strange. I'll have to check those out, but I haven't read those. Congratulations. Keep reading. And in fifth grade, we have Kathia Mesa Martinez. Kathia, come on up. And we have an ice cream sundae coupon for you, Kathia. Oh, wow. Kathia, what was your favorite? Probably any Kylie Jean book. Kylie Jean. All right. I, I, something I need to look into. Congratulations, sweet girl. All right, boys and girls, make sure you're reading. Remember, readers are leaders. Fantastic job. It is so exciting to recognize so many awesome students and classes for AR. You guys keep up the good work because next week we start our contest all over again. So it could be you. Do your best and make sure you're taking those AR tests. Ms. Williams, what else do you know today? I know that our word of the month is to be humble. And I talked to you yesterday about working hard and being humble. And I wanted you to th notice how humble that group of AR yes. winners were. They won. They had the most AR points in their entire grade level. And they were still so humble. They were proud, but humble. Come on in, Angel. All right. So Angel Marie, here. boy, the top AR student in first grade. Great All job. right, Angel, I'm proud of you. Good what job, What was your girl. favorite story you read this week? Uh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> All right. Have, Have a great a good day. day, babe. Glad you made it. All right, boys and girls, teachers, don't forget we do have ELA collaboration in the bistro today. We cannot look, we cannot wait to see you. And I'm going to go ahead and kick, end the day with some words of wisdom Let's and the it. morning show. Not today. <laughs> Making mistakes is a natural part of being a human being. We all do it, whether we are, we are a street cleaner or a world leader, a teacher or a student, a young person or an older person. It's another one of those things we all have in common. We all make mistakes. Listen to the words of early U.S. Senator Hugh White. When you make a mistake, don't look back at it. Mistakes are lessons of wisdom. The fact that you realize you've made a mistake means you've already learned something. You've learned what not to do in the future. That's, that's good. Today, take responsibility for your mistakes. And remember, a mistake can be a great teacher. With something to think about on this fantastic, thoughtful Thursday, let's make it a great day, Romeo. The choice is yours. Thank you, Miss Parker and Miss Lambs. Well, that's all for today, Pioneers. Thanks for watching WPKN this morning. Be sure to join us again tomorrow for the news that kids can count on to start their day. I'm Fernando Rodriguez. Until next time, see you later. Bye for now. Thank you.